Typically, the Super Bowl does attract hundreds of radio hosts from all around the country. But of course, this year, because of the pandemic, it has drastically altered plans. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck taking a deeper look into that live in downtown Tampa tonight. Uh, Sarah, they called it Radio Row, but there's really not much of a row this year. No, there's really not. It is astounding the differences from last year's Super Bowl in Miami to this year's here in Tampa, where there would be hundreds of radio hosts ready to interview everyone they possibly can. This year is a lot quieter. This is what Radio Row looked like last year in Miami. Thousands of people, celebrities and sports legends offering up interviews to the best radio hosts in America. World champion boxers, UFC fighters, Dana White was here last year. And this is what Radio Row looks like today inside the Tampa Convention Center. More plexiglass than people. I really don't want to say it this way. This is depressing. Now that's what the whole last year has been depressing. I've been to 20, 25 Super Bowls. The only thing I care about year in and year out is Radio Row. And instead of asking celebs for interviews in person, this year everything is over Zoom. That's a weird feeling. Like this is the this is the main event. Like this is the prime sporting event in the entire country that everyone focuses their attention on. And you walk in and there's four other people here. Just the latest impact of the pandemic on our country's most beloved sporting event. But radio host Corey Spector of Syracuse University and Randy Harris from right here in Tampa Bay say it's all about perspective. It'll be cool to tell the uh, the children, the grandchildren one day that uh, I was at the pandemic Super Bowl. And celebrating the Bucks' big moment in the spotlight, even without a lot of fanfare. Which would you rather, last year's Super Bowl here in Tampa or this year with the Bucks in it? I think you'd almost rather say I'll take this. I just love their great perspective, though, with all of this in mind. And there are just going to be 35 radio stations that are broadcasting from the Tampa Convention Center this year. That's about a third of what we would normally see during the Super Bowl. Reporting live in downtown Tampa, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Yeah, Sarah.